Hi, Micro Punter here, and today I'm gonna to do something fun. Okay, so my microscope here currently magnifies 600 times, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change it around so that it magnifies 6,000 times. So I'm going to increase the magnification tenfold, and it's relatively easy to do that because all you need is, is you need those Barlow lenses. And uh, these Barlow lenses were quite cheap. Um, I, I paid around uh, $4 or 3 uh, euros for one of them and I imported them from China. And what they do is, is they're doubling the magnification. Um, and by changing the magnification of the eyepiece here and by inserting these Barlow lenses, I can basically get any magnification I want. Now, of course, I know that this does not make sense and I've already made videos uh, before that actually show or try to demonstrate that any magnification above above 1000 is totally unrealistic because the image becomes blurry and also quite dark. Um, but still, I want to try it out and uh, we're going to see how it works, okay? And let's get started and I'm going to start uh, by unpacking these Barlow lenses. So this is uh, the parcel that arrived uh, from China. I ordered uh, the Barlow lenses uh, from AliExpress.com. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about uh, the website later. I'm gonna show you a screenshot of the website. This is how it arrived, uh, cardboard box, and again packaged uh, in yeah, this plastic, uh, little plastic foil. And uh, the Barlow lens itself uh, was actually quite uh, made of a quite high, high, quite a high quality. Uh, it was made of metal, um, and you, you can see the lens from the one side, and on the other side you can insert uh, the eyepiece. Um, there was something written on in, in Chinese, which I did not uh, understand. But later on, I'm going to translate this using a Google Translator mobile phone app. The two times magnification is self-explanatory, of course, but then I wanted to see what it actually means, so I uh, used the Google Translate app, which uh, superimposed the translation. And uh, here it's, it says converter, and depending on how you turned the whole thing, it says teleconverter. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, teleconverter or converter which is a multiplication something. So maybe the first uh, one or two characters means uh, multiplication. So this is in AliExpress. It was not uh, almost uh, only for US dollars. Prices go up and down a little bit. Um, it also went up quite a bit uh, later on and then it went down again quite a bit. Uh, so the prices seem to be quite flexible. Here I simply unmounted, unscrewed the actual optics. That's something that normally you would not want to do. Um, but I simply wanted to see how, it's, uh, how it actually looks like. Uh, everything is in made in metal as I already mentioned um, and you can see here that it actually yeah, is a concave lens that means it makes everything smaller and when it makes everything smaller uh, then it actually magnifies it, it because it dissipates the light. Depends where you put the lens, whether it magnifies it or makes it smaller. Made a separate video on this um, already some time ago. It might be a little bit counterintuitive for some of you to to know that if you put uh, a, a concave lens um, in front of the eyepiece, that it actually magnifies the whole image. So, but that is uh, the way it actually is in optics. So that's how it's inserted, uh, and I'm going to also insert the second one. So we have a, a, a magnification of four times already and then you have to multiply it with the eyepiece and I'm going to be using a 25 times eyepiece so 25 times 2 times 2 that's already a hundred times magnifying um, eyepiece combination here and down here if I have a um, 60 times uh, objective uh, times uh, the hundred times um, eyepiece combination this gives me a 6,000 times total magnification. Now imagine that I were to add four more of uh, these Barlow lenses. Every Barlow lens doubles the magnification and with four more of them, I'd have a magnification of almost 100,000 times. Now that is the magnification of an electron microscope. Now, and that for the fraction of a cost. Now, why don't they do that? It doesn't make sense, of course, because the resolution is not there. Um, the image uh, will become extremely dark and extremely blurry. You're not gonna see anything. It doesn't make sense. So this is the setup uh, that I'll be using, uh, 25 times eyepiece and two times a two times Barlow. 
giving a total uh, magnification of the IP system of 100 times. That's quite a bit. Here I'm doing a little test. That's a fly leg. Seems to work out uh, quite well. And now let's start uh, with the first objective. And I've always included the total magnification also here on the lower left uh, corner. And uh, we're now starting to zoom in. We're already um, at uh, around 500 times after a few seconds. Ah, here we go, 500 times. You can see the spikes uh, of the fly leg now quite well and uh, I'm going up now okay 1,000 times and then let's see what about the next one I think uh, the next one here we already see a slightly deteriorating image quality but I'm still not using any Barlow lenses and now this is with the first Barlow so I have a total magnification of 3,000 times and the spike that you see here also starts uh, to become bigger here now 6,000 times and then I was uh, kind of uh, wondering what are all of those dots that I see here. Well, these are all dust. That's all dust on the eyepiece. Um, and uh, it actually becomes that visible at uh, this magnification. Kind of disturbing. And you also see some rainbow colors on the right side. Well, these are now bacteria here. Again, at a very low magnification, you see that the bacteria are scattered around. And uh, yeah, very small. And now we go up again. Now, this... Uh, specimen here that is a commercial specimen of bacteria and the bacteria are highly stained um, so the contrast is extremely high um, and therefore they can be seen uh, quite well but let's see how far we can go up with the magnification here okay so here we are already at 1500 times you can see that the, these are rod shaped bacteria so they're quite uh, long now we are at 3000 times again we have those little dots the dust and the dirt uh, on the optics and here we are 6000 times now we can see the bacteria quite large already and uh, yeah that's now the zoom that you see now that is a digital zoom that I did with my photo editing not photo editing but my video editing program so and I wanted to actually check a little bit more the the location of the dirt so um, I'm now focusing back and forth and the dirt stays in focus so this means that the dirt certainly is not on the specimen slide itself but must be somewhere else yeah so and that is basically where I'm, how I'm checking and yeah, now I'm rotating the system and uh, the dust must be either on the Barlow optics or on the eyepiece because it's uh, rotating like this because I'm turning now the whole system myself. Well, let's try a different specimen here. This is uh, a water crustacean. It's called a Cyclops. And uh, same as before, we're now increasing the magnification but one of the things that's uh, notable here is, is that the contrast is not very high um, so let's see how far we can get here okay so we are now at a uh, 1000 times total magnification already so it's a 25 times eyepiece and a 40 times uh, objective okay and uh, we're yet going up and now we are using the Barlow lens for the first time and yet again we can see that the dirt and the dust is uh, more clearly visible than the actual specimen itself so what do we learn from that if you want to go up uh, with a magnification well first of all you need a specimen that really is able to provide a very high contrast one of the things that you cannot see here is, is that actually the image brightness really goes down at the higher magnifications and my camera um, was actually able to compensate this or my mobile phone camera so that's a, so a plant tissue cr cross section of a plant stem and we're going through the same thing again here uh, increasing the magnification so far still everything nicely visible uh, but then again so, uh, soon just like before we are at a limit it becomes more and more blurry the higher we go up with the magnification but also at the same time we're losing a lot of contrast and yes, here we are, um, almost already at the resolution limit. And yeah, that is now the resolution limit. And we see again that there is a lot um, of dirt um, and dust on the system. And that's actually one of the things that also speaks against very high magnifications a little bit. If you add more optical elements, then of course, there's also more possibility for uh, catching dust. So that is actually it, everything I wanted to show you. 
Yeah, well, uh, what do we learn uh, from all of that? Essentially, I just wanted to demonstrate to you that uh, you can almost uh, get any magnification you want by simply exchanging um, the eyepiece and or um, adding a variety of Barlow lenses uh, to to the system and then you simply go up with the magnification. But the problem is, of course, is that you don't always uh, see more because of that because the image becomes darker um, and also significantly more blurry. Um, so my advice is uh, is that if you want to increase the magnification, first go up uh, with the magnification of the objective. Okay. Um, otherwise, I would say it does not really make sense to go above a 1,000 times total magnification anyway, because this is where we have already reached the limit uh, of what light is able to resolve. Uh, but uh, why not try it out in any case? Uh, I mean, microscopy is a hobby after all, um, and uh, it uh, also lives from experimentation. And considering the fact that those Barlow lenses are ridiculously cheap, um, I think it's uh, yeah worth simply trying it out. Um, and sometimes uh, um, even a magnification beyond the resolution limit sometimes is also um, yeah, useful if you simply want to see the object a little bit larger, um, but if it's okay if it's blurrier. So it's a question of convenience, uh, convenience as well. This is why I, as a matter of fact, bought two of them so that I can use it uh, using my binocular microscope here. Well, I would say that's enough for today. Uh, please uh, do check out uh, my other YouTube channel as well. The link is below. I also have an affiliate web shop where uh, there are microscope parts and microscopes and all sorts of accessories uh, available. Yeah, and uh, that's pretty much it for today. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye. Uh,